If you're thinking about buying a house this year, you've probably asked yourself, is it better to buy a fixer upper or is it better to buy a home that's fully remodeled? This video, we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of both, so stay tuned. So buying a fixer upper versus a remodeled house, that's a good question. It's a really good question. And unfortunately, it's not as simple as yes or no. I mean, there's a lot that you guys need to consider when you're buying that type of uh, a fixer up a property. Uh, there's a number of things you gotta consider when you're buying a remodeled property. First one being, if you're buying a fixer upper, is this house, is it just structural? I mean, is it is it just cosmetic or are there structural issues with this house? And by structural, we're talking about foundation. Like this house right here. This is a real house in my hometown. If you actually look at the middle of this house, it's, it's caving in. Look at that, look at that roof right there. Actually, you can't notice it too well in this photo, but look at this, you may be able to notice it, this garage can't close all the way because the ground it, that it's on is actually no longer level because it's, it's sagging. Yeah, I would not want to be the owner of that property. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below if you buy a property like this. Or are you buying a property that just needs some paint, some carpet, maybe a couple you know fixes to, to small things here or there, but there's, there's nothing that's really gonna drain your bank account um, like structural or if it needs a brand new roof, all new plumbing and electrical, like crazy, you know, more, more of the expensive things that a house can have uh, that needs to be done to the property. Now, when you buy a property that's fully remodeled, you don't have to deal with those things. That property has been remodeled and if it was done correctly and done with good quality, uh, that house, you move in immediately, no big surprises, congratulations, start unpacking. I'll schedule the housewarming party. Now with the fixer upper, there's also time and stress that comes with it, right? So is it safe to say that buying a house that's, I mean, buying a house already is stressful, but now we're talking scheduling contractors, uh, painters, plumbers, electricians, you know, whatever it is that you're, you're doing to this house. Um, we're investing our own time and, you know, <laughs> taking up some of our own mental energy to get this house remodeled, where if you buy a remod you know, or, you know, a house that's already remodeled, of course, none of that needs to be done. What you need to be, be considering is one, do you have the time? And two, are you in the right space mentally to take on this added stress in your life? Um, can you handle stress very well? Because it is gonna be tough for someone who's you know, buying their first home. Potentially, me personally, I you know I have two kids. I have a job that consumes you know 40, 60 hours a week. Um, on top of that, I'm trying to do YouTube. I mean, I'm I'm busy already. I personally could not take on a project of having to fully remodel a home before I moved into it. Maybe you can, that's something that you need to ask yourself is, hey, am I, am I ready to do this? Do I have the time to put uh, you know energy and focus my, my time into this specific property. If it works out for you, great. If not, don't force it. Don't get yourself into a situation where you bit off more than you can chew and now you're you're overstretched. You're trying to do too many things at once because um, one of them you're gonna have to sacrifice attention on. Maybe, you know, maybe you're sacrificing actual work time, the thing that makes you money. Maybe you're sacrificing family time. You don't wanna do that. I mean, I don't wanna sacrifice my family time. Um, so it's up to you. I mean, do you have, let me know in the comments. Do you think you'd have enough time in your personal life right now to handle a fixer upper? Keep in mind the budget for these, these upgrades that you're gonna make to this property. And also, here's where a lot of people make a mistake. Keep an additional budget for surprised repairs that need to be done. Is it safe to assume that maybe we can open up a wall or something and find something that we didn't find something there that we didn't know was there during our home inspection during the escrow process so be prepared have a budget set aside for those kind of uh, unknown repairs that that may need to be made you know people don't necessarily always budget for that and then they get themselves into a buying later so do yourself a favor now just if you're going to buy a fixer upper property have a budget set aside Buying a, pro a, a property that's fully remodeled, you don't need to do that. So that's the <laughs> that's that pro that uh, that you get from buying a property that's already remodeled. Some of the benefits of buying a property that's you know that is a fixer upper. You know, there's a reason why you have places like Bigger Pocket, uh, Meet Kevin, Graham Stephan, 
a lot of big real estate people here on YouTube talk about buying these fixer uppers. The, the pro to them is you get that kind of wedge deal. You could walk into some equity, right? So maybe you want to get into a neighborhood. Um, maybe that that neighborhood, that actual going rate or, or price for that neighborhood for a home is a million bucks. But you find a house that's nicely discounted at 800000 because it needs a remodel. So you get to be in a million dollar neighborhood for 800,000. You are paying a lot less to be in that million dollar neighborhood. Therefore, you are securing a lower mortgage payment. Congratulations on that. You have a lower mortgage payment than say somebody else that's buying the house across the street at a million bucks um, that's already remodeled. Also, let's keep in mind the equity aspect of buying a property like this. So you buy a property that's a fixed rubber at 800,000 and you get a quote from contractor, they say, hey, it's gonna be $90,000 to uh, to remodel this house. So all in it, you're at it, add it for an $800,000 purchase price, then $90,000 for a remodel. You get the house reappraised later and it appraises for a million bucks. So by remodeling the property, you were able to uh, create $110,000 out of you know essentially thin air in your net worth and in equity towards your, you know, of your know for your property. So that is a benefit to buying a property that's a fixer upper with a remodeled home. You you don't do that, right? You already paid that premium price tag for the house to be remodeled. So what do you guys think about that? Would you you know is that is it worth it to you? Would you like to see that kind of money um, growth from remodeling your property? Let me know in the comments down below. Those are some of the pros and cons when you buy a home that's a fixer upper. Uh, what are some of the pros and cons of buying a house that's already remodeled? Well, one, the house is already remodeled, so you're paying a freaking premium premium for that house. And right now with COVID, uh, the pandemic, there's not a lot of homes for sale as it is. So those houses in general, you are definitely paying a premium price for that house. Where if you bought that fixed rubber, you do get a little bit, you know, you are shielded a little bit because you bought an under market deal. But buying that house, you know, you're paying a premium for it, but you're paying a premium for a reason, right? You're paying for not just the house, but the ease of just being able to walk into it. You don't have the stress of having to remodel a bunch of stuff that maybe, you know, like we said, you don't want to do. So is it worth, hey, I'd rather pay $150,000, $200,000 more to just be in a house that I, you know, as soon as I close escrow, I can move into it and start having friends over family and, and see my new home. I don't want to deal with a bunch of other crap uh, when, when buying a property. And, you know, I I understand that. I mean, I'm sure you can kind of relate to that in some kind of form or some place in your life that you've been in a situation like that. Um, but I want you guys to keep in mind, what about the, the way the house was actually remodeled? So that's one thing that a lot of people look past. They walk into these houses, maybe the house was nicely staged, right? You just walk in and whoa, the, the, the furniture in the house, the artwork on the wall, um, the little knickknacks around the house, just really make this house just a sexy property, right? Um, but you can't get, you can't get, um, kind of tunnel vision from that. You gotta also look at the fine details. So say we're looking at the baseboards and you see, hey, you know, in the corners, the, the cuts weren't very clean. Um, the cabinets that were installed, the contractor was moving pretty quickly. There's little dings here or there. Paint has some scratches, you know, you know, along the walls, all around the house, just little things here or there. So was the work actually done to good quality, to a standard that that you would think is, is really good quality or was the house rushed just to get the house remodeled and thrown on the market and we maybe cut a couple corners to hurry up the job and you're paying you're you're getting stuck with the with 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 those mistakes that maybe that contractor made so when you're going through these properties and, you, and you're looking them over you're looking at some of the the work that was done just pay attention you're like really do it a nice visual inspection and look at all the de little minute details to make sure you know, yeah, this house was done um, to my liking. Now, that kind of leads on to the next point is one of a con of buying a house that's already remodeled. So when you buy a house that's remodeled, you're paying for the house and you're getting it the way that it is, right? When you buy a fixer upper, that house is a freaking blank canvas. You've always wanted ocean blue cabinets with gold fixtures and uh, you get to do that at a fixer upper. You get to design the house in your image. 
When you buy a house that's already remodeled, I mean, you don't get to do that, right? Because the house has already been remodeled. It's a gorgeous house. We're not taking away from the fact that it's, you know, a, a beautiful home, but it's not necessarily your dream kitchen that you had always envisioned having since you were, you know, a teenager or, you know, whenever you were thought about buying your first house. You don't get to go in and, and design your home, uh, every room of the house like you would with a fixer upper. When you buy that house that's remodeled, I mean, you're buying it the way that it is. Say they just put in brand new countertops to make the house look nicer for the sale of it, and you hate those countertops, I mean, you're, you're paying a premium for those countertops that you don't like. So that's one of those cons you have when you buy a house that's already remodeled versus a home that's fixer upper. Now, those are a lot, those aren't bad problems. I mean, it's just countertops, but it's still, you know, we paid a premium for a house and it's, it's we love it, but it's not 100% perfect. No house is, but you know, there's still some things that over time we know we're gonna have to fix. But if the work was done to good quality, I mean, you're really not gonna have many issues. You buy this house, you move in right away, over time, you're gonna have to fix some stuff because it, each house has maintenance. You, you gotta take care of the house. Uh, but you did your home inspection. You know that there's 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 not gonna be any surprises. There's nothing in there that really freaks you out. So you're shielded in a lot of ways. You get to buy that house, immediately move in, and have that housewarming party and, and grow up. So that's it, guys. I mean, it's pretty short, pretty quick, but I mean, Buying a fixer-upper, buying a house that's remodeled, you, you can't go wrong with either. It's really your decision. Here's a couple things that I, I wanted to note for you guys of what you need to consider when buying, buying either property. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought uh, of this video and, and what kind of things stood out to you, what you found was most valuable in this video. Again, my name is Brandon. I'm a real estate agent here in Los Angeles County. Thanks so much for watching. And before you go, hit the subscribe button down below so it does grow the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.